we really want to create Australia's premier collaboration and commercialisation hub. So a place where we can bring industry and government together with our researchers and our student communities to really help solve the big issues and problems that the agricultural industry in, 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 the, in position for agriculture has and to help them achieve their ambitions of achieving $100 billion in turnover as a sector. And we won't achieve that unless we find new ways to solve some of the you know, real problems that exist within agriculture and, and the agricultural sector per se. So what is an agri-park though? What, 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 what does it do? What it does? Um, What's it going to do? Well, well it's an ecosystem. Um, and an ecosystem is, is a, a virtual and physical place where we can bring people together, we can bring organisations together, uh, and we can have them working with the university in helping to identify and solve those problems. Historically, universities have engaged with industry one-to-one -one around a project and a specific activity. And that's fantastic, but at the end of the day, the problems are quite diverse. They require extensive collaboration and networks and a lot of testing and validating. So what's unique about the AgriPark concept that, that CSU is, is developing is that it brings, it enables communities to come together. It's part of the regional fabric of, of Australia, uh, which is really important because we're also about trying to bring investment and to strengthen community engagement within the agricultural sector in where CSU campuses are located. What does it take to build this kind of ecosystem? I mean, it, it, does it require a significant cultural transformation? a change or a different way of thinking or a real upsurge in collaboration? What makes it work? Collaboration is the key to it. It's less about funding a research project and more around designing research that's actually going to solve real world problems for industry. And that change in culture really helps shift the focus and the attention around the types of work and the activities and the investments and ultimately the partnerships we build. I think what's great around um, the strategy of the Golbali Agri-Park is that we're not anchored to a faculty, we're not anchored to a research community or a specific um, physical asset within the university. We are the intermediary and we often use the term we're the enabler. So our role is to actually connect with industry and enable industry to integrate and work with the university and vice versa, have the university much better prepared to actually work with, with the industry. So open access laboratories, so industry can come and use the great facilities. Having the ability for industry to be able to come and test and validate their technologies in a commercial farming operation. And then working with them about how they can scale that up and showcase that to the broader industry. So it's using all of our wonderful assets in people and infrastructure to actually enable us to operate differently with the external environment. Collaboration is two ways. So it's not just about solving industry problems. We want to create the workforce of the future through our undergraduate and postgraduate programs. So we want industry to be helping us build the pipeline of students coming into our undergraduate programs, but also building up the graduate placement programs so that we've got uh, students that are ready and have a clear pathway to employment within the, within the industry. And so that's a really important piece around the, the, um, the industry and our student portfolios. And importantly, um, a lot of research in, in years gone by has gone offshore. Globalisation, um, you know, company headquarters moving offshore, acquisitions. We're really focusing on bringing some of that research investment back into regional Australia, back into partnerships with universities, um, and fundamentally getting that investment into building our research capabilities that better support solving those problems that industry have but doing it in Australia, not outsourcing it to the rest of the world. Now, small and medium-sized businesses are, of course, said to be the lifeblood of um, regional Australia. Now, how will the, the Gobali Agri-Park help them, work with them, but actually help them, support them? 
Great question. Uh, they definitely are the lifeblood of regional Australia. They're also the lifeblood of the agricultural sector. So we, we have a number of programs in how we engage and support not only existing small businesses and medium-sized businesses, but also the emerging businesses. So the really great research concept that has a potential to become a business. Our innovation and commercialisation programs support developing an entrepreneur into a business and taking that business forward into a commercial marketplace. We're also very uh, open and supportive of those small businesses bringing their technologies in and testing and validating in our infrastructure and facilities. So on our global digital farm as an example, uh, or in our commercial farming operations, so that they can really showcase to their customer base, their technology, their science, their research in an applied way, adding commercial value. Um, so really small and medium-sized businesses are the lifeblood of our engagement program with CSU.